Today we're going to talk about Google Docs and you're going to go into your classroom in Google and sign in. At that point you will see a couple of videos to watch and then you're going to have a document to work on. So to get started I'm going to first go into just Docs and open up a new document. There are templates that you can use that can help you get started on something if you need a little help, but I'm just going to start with a blank document. And so I like to say like it opens up a blank sheet of paper for you. One of the really cool things about Google Docs is that you can click here up in the top left and go ahead and name your file. And I'm going to just name this practice. And then we're going to talk about if you if you click back down in your paper, you can start your cursor will be flashing and you can start typing. I'm just going to type in the name of our school. And then you can see that as it typed the text, it used the default setting of a font style of Arial and size 11. Now if I want to change this text in any way, I have to first select that. You can either click at the end of the text and select it by clicking and dragging your mouse. You can do the same from the other end, from the beginning of it. Click and drag, hold their mouse and then let go. And then you can see that text is selected. Another way is to triple click for a whole line. Or you can double click if you just wanted to change the one word. I'm going to go ahead and select this whole text. And if you see an arrow or like a carrot like you've been using in your writing for your editing, always click on that because there's usually something else there. So I can click a different font. I'm going to choose Comic Sans. And I'm going to change the size to, let's do a 30. Now another thing that I can do to this text if I have it selected is I can make it bold, which makes it darker. If I want to turn that off, I can just click the bold again. Or if I click bold and I don't like something, I can also do this undo button, which can become your very best friend. Um, I can also make it italics, which will slant the text. I can also underline it. I don't think I'm going to leave it underlined. And then the capital A with the line under it is a text color. It will automatically default to black. I'm going to choose purple. You know, that's my favorite color. So I'm going to choose purple and I can change the color of my font. 